fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com. And today we have an old relative here on my cask. It's the Johnny Walker Green Label, 15 years of age, 43% ABV, to a price of 45 euros 90 cents for our Netherlands customers in the Netherlands on whiskey.com. There had been a time where just Johnny Walker Red Label had been on the market, well, when I was young, and there were rumors there's a legendary black label on the market somewhere, yeah, and a charismatic statement. Yeah, and then <laughs> time passed and the black label went into the supermarkets and was uh, available everywhere. And then there was tale there's a green label somewhere. It's very special. Yeah, and so it was, the green label was on the market, but not very well available. So uh, people got, uh, yeah, uh, interested in that bottle and then the bottle spread around and sales rose. And in 2012, this whiskey was sold out and it was stopped by Diageo, the proprietor of Johnny Walker. And uh, well, then lots of talks all around. And in 2016, the whiskey appeared on the market again. And then it uh, be uh, got 43% ABV instead of 40. And it is on the market again. And people are very happy. Unfortunately, it rose a little bit in price, but uh, we're happy that it's there. And this whiskey is a blended malt whiskey, means there are malt whiskies from different distilleries which combine to this whiskey. And there's no added grain whiskey. So this is a artisanal whiskey which is combined from different distilleries. And there are very famous distilleries in this whiskey and they are printed on the back. So there is Talisker in it, Linkwood, Craig and Moore and Kalila. And uh, Kalila was very scarce in that time, 2012, when they started their uh, single malt whiskey range or had started their a range of single malt whiskies. And well, I think they had to stop it. And I watched an old video I took many, many years before. And there I compared the old from 2012 to the new one from 2016. And uh, it was, well, the new one had a little, not a little, a lot more of intensity, a lot more of smoke. So probably they didn't have enough whiskey from Karl Ehler and Talisker then. Uh, be aware, in this whiskey is Talisker with an age of 15 years. So this is strange because the 18 year old Talisker is very rare on the market. And you most often have to deal with a 10-year-old or even without an eight statement. And in this green label, there's Talisker with an age of 15 years, as well as Kalila, where the same is true, or where the 18-year-old is very, very rare. And uh, Linkwood is a distillery, well, tier two in the they stay in the background. They're there for the blended whiskey industry. It's a wonderful distillery. I had been there. And uh, the Craig and Moore, well, the sales of the Craig and Moore inside the Classic Mod of Scotland are not that prominent. It's one of the lesser sold whiskies in the Classic Mod of Scotland. So there is capacity available for this uh, green label. So I estimate that we have most of Linkwood and Craig and Moore, and then less of Talisker and Craig and Moore uh, and Kalila. So this is what I'm thinking about, what would be logical for this. So the bottle is uh, definitely more valuable, more representative than the normal uh, red label. It has a thick uh, bottom and shows a little bit of, yeah, greenish color, I think. So might be there's a recycling component in this would be good. And here we go. And be aware, uh, there is no distillery called Johnny Walker. This is often 
as uh, thought by mistake that there is a distillery. No, this is a brand name. Uh, I think uh, goes back to Alexander Walker, who spread the whiskey around the world and was established in 1820. So in the booming years of the starting international whiskey business. Excellent cork. Professionally done, very good bottle, very good finish. Fruity with a little grass. Green. And, well, not that much smoke in it. No, nope. there is smoke in it, but say 5 to 8 ppm. So it's just smellable, not too intense. So the content of Kalila and Talisca is again not that big. And if I'm, the Craig and Moore uh, malt is one of the best balanced single malt whiskies I ever had. It's so balanced in in aroma, taste, and aftertaste. It's so yeah on on a high level in each of component, but it's elegant. It's not dominant, it's not harsh. It's a very elegant, well-balanced whiskey, and I find this in here. Linkwood is a very typical Speyside distillery with a good fruitiness, with a hefty output, two still houses, volume producer, and very famous for its sherry cask matured whiskies, which go into the blended whiskey industry. So very friendly, very comfortable smell. This is, yeah, glorious, wonderful. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here you find the peppery note of Talisca. Not that intense as it is with Talisca, but definitely present. A light smokiness covering my mouth. So there's Kalila present as well. Little sweetness. This is part of Kalila as well. There's a sweet undertone in Kalila. Vanilla from the cask. Sandalwood. Yeah, very well balanced. Not too strong, not too long aftertaste. Yeah, so it's very balanced, artisanal, but, uh, made, matured, finished, blended out of different malt whiskey distilleries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It lacks a little bit of smokiness, which it had a few years ago, but it's a wonderful, complex uh, whiskey with a uh, with a light peppery note, with a light smoky note, with a uh, well balanced and uh, yeah, light sherry note in it. So it's complex, really complex, but elegant and full. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching.